is a meeting of the Rocket Advisory Council of the Pikes Peak region. It's a group of men and young men joined together to try and promote the rocket experimentation in this area on a safe basis. The immediate problem with which these men are faced today is the location and availability of a suitable proving ground or a firing range for rockets. There is a problem concerning the firing of rockets in the city. Lieutenant Davis here on my left of the city police department. Uh, can you fire a rocket today in Colorado Springs? Okay. Under existing city ordinances at this time it is not permissible to fire rockets of this type within the city limits. And from Colonel Arthur Powers, the Chief of Interceptor Missile Division of ADC. Colonel Powers, can the community expect any help from Air Force personnel in this problem? Well, uh, regarding the uh, Air Force participation in the program for young people to gain this scientific and technical knowledge in the rocket and missile field, uh, the Air Force personnel may participate to the extent of attending uh, rocketry advisory council meetings and to offer technical assistance and advice uh, in the rocket and missile field. Uh, it is believed that the emphasis on gaining scientific and technical knowledge relating to rockets and missiles should be primarily channeled towards the uh, important aspects of uh, the theory and design of, uh, of the rockets and missiles. Mm -hmm. Now at the present time, rockets can be fired safely if under the correct controls. I know they can be. Mm -hmm. There's no question in my mind about safe firing of rockets. And that's one of the problems is education of the public, of the parents, to make them realize that it, all rocketry is not dangerous as such. That it is possible to fire rockets, but all rocket firing should be controlled. Mm -hmm. And this council is doing what to help that control? We're trying to publicize the problem. We're collecting information and data on safe procedures everywhere we can in an attempt to get that information to adult responsible people who will disseminate it to the children in rocket clubs, which they form themselves. Well, now, Hugh Pittock, over here, you're uh, one man who's, uh, who's going to be flying these, these rockets, who's going to be shooting, firing, shooting off his firings, rather. Uh, do you have a rocket all ready to go? Well, I have uh, several rockets, small rockets, excepting the fuel, that are ready to go. Mm -hmm. We never put our fuel in until last minute before firing, because mm -hmm. it's liable to go off at any time. Mm -hmm. It cannot be controlled and by, any way, by any means that I know of now. Once you put the fuel in. Yes. All you can do is take safety precautions and hope it doesn't go off. Mm -hmm. Well, now, are you going to fire those rockets whether they find a firing ground or not? Well, um, that just depends on whether we can find some place maybe safe enough to fire them. We maybe shouldn't, 